Okay. So we first go 180 meters straight west. Followed by 210 meters in a direction 45 degrees east of south. So I'm going to draw a dotted line to represent south. And we are going this away, where this angle is 45 degrees. And this is 210 meters. And then we finish off by going 280 meters, 30 degrees east of north. So let me draw a dotted line to represent north. And we end up up here somewhere. 280 meters, where this angle is 30 degrees. So what we need to do is resolve all of these motions into their components. Okay, so we want this component and this component. So here, this is 210 times the sine of 45 which equals 148.5. Similarly, this one is 148.5. Okay, and we want to resolve this triangle as well. All right, things are getting a little messy here. Let's see if I can clean it up. Okay, just remember this one here is 180. All right, where um, this component is 280 times the uh, the sine of 30, which is 140. And this component is 280 times the cos of 30, which is 242.5. All right, now we need to add all of these things together. So if we do the x direction first, we have a 180 to the left, so we'll call that a negative 180, plus a 148.5 to the right. Finally, plus a 140 to the right. And this equals 108.5. And if we do the y directions, we have a negative 148.5 plus a positive 242.5. Okay. And that equals 94. So we can draw our final displacement vector so where this bottom part here is where we started and this is where we finished or this is 90 i'm sorry 108.5 and this is 94 and if we use pythagorean theorem we find that this is 143.56 and if we Take the tan inverse of 94 over 108.5. We get that that angle is 40.904. So this is 40 to 40.904 degrees north of east. So we simply want to walk 143.56. Um, instead of north of east, we want to walk that south of west to get back.